Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. I want to first apologize for my audio levels or lack thereof in the previous videos. I realized I was overmodulating with my voice as well as being too quiet in other videos when I was far away from the microphone. So what I did was turn up my gain. Hopefully I'm not going to be overmodulating because I'm actually further away from my microphone and yeah. <laughs> well, since the last episode, we have done some development. We've expanded this out to be 15 blocks, I believe, per plot. And so that's 30 and 60. So we have up to 60 crops right here. And if I really, really, really want to, I can add a whole third row right here, actually. And that'll make it uh, 30 more. So that's like 90 crops. And then I can expand it out forward if I want to, but I'm not going to, I'm going to stick with this so far. I'm not too confident in my defense yet. But that's where I, the purpose of this episode is, is to finally set up our automated defense system. So we've started the groundwork for a secondary turret, as well as painted this one and added a little red light with the hat. It looks really cute. It's fun. And I think it works. I will have problems though if it, if they both come into contact with each other right here, because then there could be a problem. But I think that's okay. Um, the next goal, what I have done is mine a whole lot of bananas. And I think I need some more blueberries, but those will be coming up. Actually, I'm going to get these bananas first and then we'll see what happens. But right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six packets of bananas. And I will have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I need one more banana for me to have a whole seven packets. And then three packets of blueberries. So that is three extra spud guns. Um, which are cool, but I think I'm going to need a little bit more. So next I'm going to be planting a lot more blueberries and bananas and just trying to survive the waves as they come. And so this is going to be a mix of base setup, defense survival, and also, um, what's it called? Uh, farming. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing for this whole game actually. So farming is what I'm going to be doing. Um, but yeah, so then once we get that, we're going to go and package and trade all of our fruits. No vegetables, just the fruits. And then we're going to head over to the trader and get... I think I want to get at least five or six spud guns. So I'm going to need to plant a lot more blueberries <laughs> and a lot more bananas. So I believe I have a fruit chest right here. So we can just shove them all in there, actually. Just why not? I have a bunch of seeds already in here. So why not just go wild? So besides getting this uh, turret situation situated, <laughs> I want to actually get this one situated as well. I mentioned in the last ep Ooh. I mentioned in the last episode that I um, wanted to figure out a good way to defend this wall right here. And a new update came out today actually that released challenge mode, which is really cool, but nothing new besides just fixing some things that made things a little bit easier for me. So hopefully some bugs will be fixed, so that's good. Now I need to have some sort of spud gun system that goes maybe right here and then can shoot as well. This corner might be unprotected unless I move all this over. So let's do that actually, let's do this. I'm having an abundance of saw blades right now, as well as an abundance of metal due to these uh, bots that keep on coming showing up, which is nice. I put this thing over here so that I can just collect them easily and then bring them over to the refiner over there. I will be creating a system in the next couple episodes. I don't know exactly when. Let me pick that up. That's what I dropped. But um, that will be uh, really cool and it will help me with transport and really just automating this entire base process. So be prepared for that. Get excited for that. All right. So here's a secondary prototype that I've made of a gun. Um, I'll probably just erase it all to put it all back on because I don't have a need for it. But let's get this thing set up real quick and hopefully it'll work. I don't see that there's a raid that's supposed to come on tonight, but I don't want to take any chances, so I'm going to turn on my turret anyways, and hopefully things don't end horribly. <laughs> all right, so I've planted all of my vegetables. This is going to be a very, very big raid, I believe. Yeah. Oh man, I'm actually kind of scared again. <laughs> so hopefully there's not going to be a raid tonight. I also need to add another light or something right here so that I can see out that direction instead of it being so dark. But we'll come to that when we come to that. So let's just hope and pray that this if there is a raid that it's not big. And it looks like it's... Alright. We got a swarm coming. They're swiping. 
Honestly, I can just <laughs> know that this front gate is covered. Okay, I'm gonna need to make my own little sniper watching tower. Um, and that'll be fine, but honestly, that really wasn't that bad. I don't know what wave that was or what level that was, but I mean, <laughs> nothing got hit at all. Like this is almost a flawless system so far. I, I just need to get, I need to kill everything for it to be completely flawless. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick off these guys. I might have to just put a turret or something in the water facing that coast right there and that picks off everybody, which actually is a pretty good idea, I think. Just a small turret that's sticking out the water right here that kind of scans this coast mostly in this area right here and then kills them so that's an idea but we'll try that idea later but i think that raid is over with honestly i got a pretty you know good amount of base defended i should probably turn off this turret so i don't waste ammo or i can just sneak around the outside like this um and then turn it off okay i'm also going to probably need to get a switch or something and put this uh, connect these switches t somewhere else on the base so I can like either shoot it from far away or you know be able to turn off my defenses from the outside without it getting destroyed easily so that'll probably come later but look at this look at all this metal that we're just getting for free it's wonderful like I don't even really have to do anything I just need to stand here and let all the robots come to me they really 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 are getting attracted to this choke point really well I moved the saw blades over a little bit and added one more I think just because I just had room and had extra and they just literally come right here, don't know what to do, or they get shot. So it's great. And then when I add the second one, they'll get shot even faster. And I'll be able to handle more at the same time. And hopefully I won't even have to worry about them getting through at all. So, yeah. Be prepared for that. That's exciting. Okay. Now back to what I was doing. Okay, so this wave is going to be a pretty big one, I think. Hopefully nothing too crazy. It's level 6 wave 2, or wave 3, actually, with a farming value of 120. It's a crop value here. So these are all worth 2 because they're fruits, and that's, that's going to be dangerous. So hopefully I won't have anything too crazy going on. All right, so let's. this is the system so far as I am testing it out right now. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to reach the whole way to the end but I have high hopes I still need to gather some more component kits to upgrade these pistons to full 15 but this has gone pretty far already by itself I think um, this will do a pretty good job at defending this part uh, actually yeah honestly if we move these up to 15 we should be able to get all the way to the end of this so let's actually do that really quickly well honestly there were take <laughs> these take a whole lot of uh, component kits so I didn't want to do too much but I've upgraded these to level 4 which gives me a little bit extra space, I think. So that gives me two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so that gives me eight more blocks, and that is pretty much plenty. I should be fine for now, honestly. If, if it, there's anything else that goes wrong, then I'm not sure what to even think. This is starting to sag, I realize, so I might need to figure out something about the sagging going on, because we don't want that to happen, especially if it falsely senses something. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. So let's we'll figure that out when we get that bridge. Right now, we're just trying to uh, <laughs> create the bridge. So let's get there. Okay, my crops are fully grown. Well, actually, we're waiting on two stragglers, but they're pretty much fully grown. I'll just say that they are. They look fully grown, but these look a bit green. So not sure what's up with that. Um, and I've <laughs> my system isn't really working out so well. I'll play around some more a little bit later, but we gotta get ready for this raid defense pretty soon. This is looking a bit uh, phallic, but oh, there we go. Now we got all the bananas going. Okay, so we'll just go and collect those real quick, actually. I believe that's what we need to do. And we're still waiting on one, but that's okay. I'll just do it now anyways. And we're not gonna plant any more. Oh, yes we are, actually. We're going to plant a little bit more bananas. Do we need any more blueberries planted? We're gonna plant uh, let's actually only plant 10 now. So let's just do 10 of each this next round. So let's just press this button here. I forgot those switches don't do anything anymore. <laughs> and that thing has grown since of my indecision. Okay, so now we got that going. We're going to actually turn on this turret just in case I forget that the raid is coming tonight. Um, and just let things go on their own. 
And surprisingly enough, in the last raid, we only used about like 43 ammo-ish. Or, well, really less than 43 ammo. So, yeah. So, that's pretty good. I think it's pretty efficient. We're going to be using up a lot more uh, once I get the second raid or second <laughs> turret online and add the more guns to each of these turrets. But that's pretty good. I plan on beginning. I plan on having a lot of potatoes, so I'm not going to be too worried about the ammo issue right now. What I am worried about is getting this thing working. Um, there might be better ways, like putting it on wheels or something, on like a track system so it can go across freely without having to worry about pistons and whatnot, and I can just have it automatically moving forward and backwards and stopping and whatnot depending on what it's sensing. However, that just seems like a bit bulky to put on top of a wall, so that's why I'm not trying that out just yet. But if all else fails, then I'll definitely look into that type of system. But for now, we're testing out this kind of system. I have 30 seconds to do this elevator pitch in which you can, uh, I don't have any buttons, I have one button actually, where it, you connect this button to this right here. Um, this goes to that, oh wait, no. And that goes to that. And this button turns on this right here. So what this will do, I got five seconds. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna do this thing. I'll show it off after the raid. All right, let's do this. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got? Looks like a whole lot of hay bots. Oh, that's not good. Um, oh gosh, looks like my turret broke. Oh, that's not good at all. My turret legitimately broke. Hold on a second. Abort mission! Okay. Oh, gosh. That was terrifying. Okay, let's see what's else going on here. We got these guys chilling. Looks like they're coming through this wall right here. That's no good. Alright. Um, and it also looks like they are... <sighs> oh, gosh. I was not prepared. My turret broke and I had to destroy my other template turret. Oh, uh, oh boy. But these guys are stopped, and I think everybody's all calmed down now. Okay. Well, that's good. I survived. I got one hole in the wall, but other than that, honestly, I would say that was a pretty decent raid. Uh, I can definitely do with something else. I probably will need another saw blade to get this all situated, but let's just clear up the rest of these bad guys. Um, let's just use our hammer and not waste too much ammo. Ouch. And then let's also get this guy here. Is there another one? I don't think there's any more. So I think that's all of them. Okay. That was a level or a wave three level six raid completed. And I think we haven't hit a boss yet. So that's pretty good. Uh, hopefully this next raid won't be as... Uh, drastic because it's only going to be a much much less <laughs> valued crop so but yeah so let's just put the rest of this stuff away get all cleaned up and then start getting back on our turret mission okay so after that little test run what have we learned we learned that the exact thing that I feared happened and that fear was this turret coming over here and sensing this guy right here and then just you know, it not ending well, because it kept on shooting here instead of those guys. So, that's good to know. I wasted a whole lot of ammo with that. I know that for sure. So, let's just pop some back in there. Um, and so, basically, we're going to need to relocate this turret, or both turrets, probably. And I have, you know, a couple days to do so. Well, just one day to do so. So, we're going to put this on hold and figure out the best way to relocate these turrets and not have any problems occur. I think I have an idea but I'm not entirely sure about it yet. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, it's not really much of a drastic change, actually. In fact, what I've done was keep this, I think, in its position. I might move it to the left a little bit more, actually, but then angle it to the right, and I will have the other one angled to the left as well, so that they're both kind of shooting at an angle. And I've also limited their turning angles, maximum turning angles, to... Uh, this much or so and so I'm gonna try to see if I'll, I mean I'll work I'll work on the actual maximum angle myself but I'm gonna to need to either make this faster somehow 
but I also made this a maximum turn angle even further out this way so that I can uh, turn out and be pretty cool. So that's one change that I've made and it won't sense itself. I've changed the wall down. So now that it can kind of turn all the way here and shoot at anything that's over here, possibly attacking this wall, assuming that it's, you know, <laughs> sensed it and whatnot, but that's, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. So I'll add the second one later. Honestly, I took it all apart and I'll add it on and put it <laughs> off camera after I go get these spud guns traded for. So now we're going to actually finally be able to work on this thing, which honestly, I think it kind of started to work. Uh, not completely, but pretty much the way I was expecting it to. Oh, it comes this way and it senses and it stops and then it comes out this way. I need to figure out a way to make it stay in the middle somehow, if that's possible. I don't think it is, to be honest, but yeah. So let's see. Let's let's just let's mess around some more and get this going. Okay, well, I nearly forgot that the uh, the raid was coming, and it's going to be a short-ish one, so hopefully this will end a little bit better than the last one. I think this is only a level 4. Yeah, it's only level 4 for sure, so we're going to just, you know, probably just let the turret do its work, see what happens, if it comes through at all. It looks like the... It looks like the... Uh... Alright, yeah. We're going to definitely need two. It looks like also, actually, let's just use this moment to test. It looks like this thing has been sensing properly the robots. I'm not entirely sure, but it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. So what we're going to do is just come back, run through here. And if I get followed through, then so be it. But I don't, I don't think I will, to be honest. Oh gosh, stop shooting me. Um, where did that hay bot go? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it's still out there. Okay. So. Hello? I don't think this, uh, this guy's got it going on, but it looks like this guy is, oh wait, wait a minute. <gasps> I think it's working. If I'm not mistaken, uh, this, this thing was literally just being triggered from that, uh, from seeing this guy. Yeah. Honestly, I think he is. Or was. Yeah, okay. Okay, so basically the turret will be shooting him if it senses him right here. And if I can make it go more, you know, do a little bit more testing. If I can get this guy to come over here. Come this way, please. Instead of... Well, he'd be dead anyways if this thing kept on sensing him. We're going to run over here, actually. I don't think I did that right. Hold on a second. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, this, the saw blade's too close on that side. So we're going to need to fix that. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is the saw blade? I don't know. Let's move that that way. Honestly, the more I think about it, I think the angled, angled turrets isn't going to work as well as the non-angled turrets. Because, uh, as you just saw, like they could just run past here and it like easily just got through on this side. Even though there's supposed to be another turret right here that takes them out. So I guess we can only test this out once I get both turrets. But fear not, we will take this guy out of his <laughs> misery and uh, go get some more spud guns real quick. And then we'll be back to set up the rest of this defense system. Actually, we still got one, two more actually. Take these guys out real quick. There we go. All right. All right. So now this raid has been stopped. And I have no more crops planting, so we are good to go on that level. We don't need to worry about another raid happening. So let's just transport and package and do all of the things we need to do with the fruits. And then let's get our new guns. Ha, huh, look what I just found. I just found some more bananas. So that means I can have a full set now instead of that nine. So we're going to stick a bunch of this crap back in here that we don't need right now. We'll come and get it out later, but for now we're just going to do that. We've I've also extended this crafting system to be a... A feedback loop so now that they can pull from each other and do whatnot so that just makes things a little bit easier on my end I've also added another chest and put some sensors over here and got some more fuel did lots of stuff in the water so we're we're on the up and up really so I'm pretty excited to see where the next steps of this base is going to go all right I know for a fact that there is a farm bot 
big red boy in this area because it keeps on lagging and saying it's looking for the anime. Ooh! What in the world? Nice! I mean, I don't really need any of this, but nice! <laughs> wow, there's just a gold, just an epic gold little chest is laying out in the middle of the road. That's pretty cool. I didn't even see that until I came across it. But back to what I was saying is I know that there is a boss in this area because this keeps on having a failed error in the air log about it's missing the frames or couldn't find the animation frame so I don't know if that's just a bug or something but I <laughs> I know it's around somewhere so I'm just gonna keep an eye out especially while I'm trying to do all this stuff I don't want to get ambushed by something that will destroy this entire vehicle in like three swings so let's just do what we can with what we've got all right so we've aligned ourselves up with the bananas we're going to just hope that the three button is connected and it is not out far enough so we're gonna all right yep we've got it all right we're gonna just fill up on bananas we're gonna leave this here for a while uh, i don't know how many bananas there are left but hopefully it won't try to just start rooting everything so i'll have to keep an eye out on how many bananas are left and whatnot because i don't want to waste any of these fruits so i've got one two three four five six seven eight more packages left so we're gonna need to stand over here and do some lag management make sure these things don't just start you know creating a mess okay that is all of the banana packages and oh boy is this quite a haul all right that's the blueberries done and i think i can actually fit all this stuff onto this it's going to look really janky but um it's it'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fine just let's just keep calm and do what we can to get this stuff on here oh boy well the deed has been done that's that's pretty much all i have to say about that this is quite the haul i'm gonna be honest it's not even gonna get me that many uh spud guns but it's you know it's a start so that's you know pretty full <laughs> oh boy now here goes trying to get this thing across. This is going to be hard. All right. How does this bad boy handle? Actually, holy crap. Like, I didn't turn. I should have turned a little bit more. But this thing is actually handling it pretty well. I'm quite impressed with myself. Well, not myself, but with this machine right here. It's just... It's just chilling. It's just taking it like a champ, actually. Wow. I'm actually very impressed with this thing. Can handle a lot of weight. And it's like, yeah, the suspension's probably bottoming out in places, but it's not like horribly bottoming out to the point where it's like being, you know, it's a bit top heavy. I can see it's already tilting over and the wheels are a bit jumpy in places. I just need to increase the suspension and I can easily fix that. But yeah, no, this is, this has been a successful run. I can even, I have room for a lot more. Well, not a lot more, but just about, yeah, to fill up that last, I can fit one two, four, six, eight more or so. And I thought I had at least eight blueberries. I don't know what happened to my other blueberry packet. All right, here we are. Getting a little bit of lag as we come in here, but that's just okay with me. We, <laughs> we have completed this trip pretty flawlessly, actually. We had a couple hiccups. Well, not really. I don't think we had any hiccups at all. I, I don't know what this is still doing here. This is when I was carrying all the farmers in here, but hey, it's free wood. That's good take that apart later but yeah so we're all here the squad is all here and i think all this fits in so all we gotta do now is just get this all sucked off all right let's do it <laughs> that was kind of satisfying but also took a while but that was great all of these stuff has been knocked off and we now officially have a lot of fruits and vegetables ready to be traded and some spud guns to trade for all right if i'm not mistaken we can get Wow, we ran out of bananas before we ran out of blueberries. That's that's pretty good. So we've got about one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more of those. And we're gonna need a lot of bananas, it turns out, because we need two bananas per uh, one blueberry. So that's a pretty interesting ratio, I'll say myself. But let's take this home and get our system immediately set up because I wanna get that in before the end of this episode. This is so exciting. What in the world?
What in the world? Where did he come from? <laughs> oh, that's how... <laughs> Just from looking at this scene right here, I can see exactly what happened. Farmbot, or Haybot, chasing cow. Cow comes somehow running into here. Gets stuck right here just because, you know, it's a dumb cow. Haybot senses this little thing um, and doesn't want to go. And so it's like stuck in this little loop, not wanting to come over here. And this cow is just chilling right there. So unfortunately, because this cow put my entire farm in danger while I was away, it, it's going to have to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we didn't kill it, so don't don't be too upset. But we, at least we know our defense system works on all sorts of animals. Uh oh, what in the world? Where did you come from? And why are you here? Get out of here, dude! Alrighty then. Well, just in time, actually. I have put on what I could. I don't, this, I think is I don't have the component kits to have this sensor work properly or as long as it should. So I'm just going to hope that adding this, <laughs> this many more spud guns will make a difference. Uh, we're going to connect this up real quick to the ammo crate and we're going to turn on the system shortly and just hope it works. I have not done really any testing. I triggered a raid and <laughs> did not realize how unprepared I actually was. This is a level six wave one, so this will be a pretty decent amount of farm bots. So I think we're gonna be pretty good. I don't have any ammo on me. So if there's anything more that happens, then I'm I'm just kind of screwed. I'm growing a whole bunch of potatoes right here, and these are gonna use a lot of potatoes today. So let's see how this goes. All right, so tote bot. Oh, a bot over in that corner over there. That's, that's kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. All right, we got some more. Uh, we got some tote bots flying over, swimming over, and I forgot to turn on this system here, so let me turn that on. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that hay bot right there. Oh. That hay bot right there actually pathfinded its way over to this little cutoff point right here, choke point. So that's pretty good. And now let's see how this one goes. Ah, oh, I see. It looks like it's sensing the things, but these guys are moving around too much for it to shoot. I think. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out something there. Um, I mean, I knew this system probably was going to be the least likely one to work, if that made any sense. Yeah, I think because they're too low and this thing is too uh, facing up too high. So if we move this to like 45 degrees or something. Oh, it's sensing the ground there. So, is there a sweet spot that I can do? Or maybe even like not, maybe even have like a choke point on this side that they'll go to? I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, but I do know I will need to set up another turret on that side, but I don't have enough spud guns to do that. But overall, this has been a success. Right, let's see if I can run through here real quick. There we go. Uh oh, oh. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. I think there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, it was chasing the cow, that's why. Uh, yeah, okay. So I think that raid is pretty much done with. I do not have any way to shoot at these guys unless... <laughs> this, this might be a little bit dumb, but... Let's just pretend that those guys could sense what was going on. And I could, like, shoot them from here with this gun right here. Actually, that might work, actually, because this can probably reach over there. But the thing is, aiming it properly will be the uh, the key point. So it might be a little bit easier just to put a set up a turret in the water. And, well, the tote bots might destroy it. So I'll have to set up something in the water that can kill the tote bots too as they come by. So, yeah, that'll come next episode or so. But for now, we're going to just... Oh, our crops have actually grown too. So... Let's harvest this, get some spuds, and then knock these guys out and get rid of them as they are making the land value go much, much lower. Pesky midget robots. All right. Oh, looks like we have somebody here. And he's trying to get this cow. But for some reason, uh, the cows are... 
these cows are the ones that are causing my defenses to go bad. <laughs> uh, but that's that's all right. I'll just kill them. Sorry about that. But you just it was for the sake of like the safety of the farm. It had to be done. You, I, I'll keep you. Well, you can stay alive for now. But as long as you keep moving that way, we'll be fine. All right, you, you keep moving over there. Walk. This guy is going to cause a problem too. So, uh. We'll come across that problem later. For now, let's clean everything up and call it a day. Tomorrow, we will have this, or not tomorrow, but next episode. I don't know when that will be. We'll have this all uploaded and, or not uploaded, finished up, cleaned up. I'll probably figure out how to get this gun and I'll probably add a turret or figure out something over there. But until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening, and I will see you next time.